Sexual communication is usually defined as the degree to which individuals can express their preferences regarding sex. Individuals with higher sexual communication skills are more likely to express their sexual desires and to initiate their preferred behaviors. However, it hardly comes quite as easy among sexual partners. This episode of Spicy with Fina is looking at the implication of personal reservation or silent sufferings among partners. You can always trust us to bring you interesting stories, actually. But before I read out today's story, let's get to meet my guest. I'll be right back. A spicy with Fina, we understand all the pain. Ogunjimi Adeyinka, also known as YK, is a graduate of Wisconsin International University with BSc in Management and Computer Science. She's a rapper, a social media content creator, Nollywood actor, and music producer. She has also been successful with creating sound themes for Nollywood movies and for YouTubers. She also operates a thriving business popularly known as At Style by YK. John Enno is the CEO of Luta International Limited. A real estate company is into property development, construction, facility management, estate investment consultant. He is passionate about helping people make the right decision on when, where, and how to invest in real estate. A spicy with Fina, we understand all the pain. Welcome back. This is Spicy with Fina, and today we're talking about sexual communication. And as you can see, I have my guest already sitting pretty. YK, baby. You look good. Thank you. Though, you know, I've never seen you in this kind of outfit before. I don't even know you to go on Buba and the rest <laughs> and the rest. YK, I think there are some sides of you that I've not seen, though. It, it you look good on it, actually. Though. You Thank look good you. on it. Thank you. Mr. John, good to have you. We have a very, um, we have about two stories, right? I'm just going to run it down and then we can drive the conversation using the story I have to read out now. So let me just go straight into the story. I feel bad about what is happening to me right now. Some years ago before I met my husband, I was dating this guy. We dated for five good years. He's not a nice guy. He hits me severally. But each time I walk away, he won't come back begging me because he knows that I will always come back to beg him. The only good thing that brings me back every time is the fact that he gives me a good head. Now I am married and I still go back to him because he, he gives, in fact the head he gives is more heavenly and my husband has refused to accept that I love having head. As it is currently, I have spoken to my husband concerning my sexual preference, but my husband said his mouth is meant for eating and praying to God. Now I am getting tired of going back to my ex because he bills me silly. He makes money out of me because he knows I keep coming back for this. For the fact that my ex is billing me so much, I want to stop going back to him, but my husband is not willing to accept that my sexual preference is majorly head. What should I do? Do I continue to cheat? Do I continue to spend money giving my ex money while I get the satisfaction I desire? Or what would you advise I do? That's the story number one. The story number two stay, says, my husband has the best in the world, but he can't go more than one round. And he barely lasts one minute. I'm dying inside as I want to have more adventures while in the bedroom. The third story says, my wife act dead like a dead firewood when we're doing it. No morning, no movement, 
no foreplay because she hates kissing and I damn love kissing. She doesn't touch me. She just lay there on the bed like a log of wood. I'm cheating and I'm happy to say that I'm cheating because this other girl fulfills all my sexual fantasies regarding, regardless of the fact that she's nowhere close to my wife in beauty. But I can tell you what she lacks in beauty, she makes up on bed. <laughs> now the thing is, looking at, looking at this story, to be candid, there are a lot of things one can actually you know, get out from the first story says she prefers to go to her ex because her sexual preference her husband could not meet. And the husband could not meet that and he's not even willing because he has his reservation. His mouth is meant for eating and praying to God. Now the second person, the second person has his own issues and the third person and all revolves around sexual communication. So the thing is, I want to ask Mr. John, what do, you, do you think sexual communication between partners is very important or do you think it's not needed? What's your take on this? Well, to start off with, marriage is a lifetime commitment. Commitment is an affair. And uh, the foundation that's what ha attracted you to your spouse or the opposite person matters a lot. A lot. And then the the other aspect I would also look at okay. is what do you people have in common? What attracts you people? Can it stand the test, the of, test time. of time? Mm. You know, a lot of couples pretend mm. and die in silence. Mm -hmm. If what you want in marriage is this you make it a priority mm. you, you understand what i'm saying okay so a lot of people say oh because i want to feel comfortable mm. most especially women okay they like comfort but comfort goes with a lot of things other things not just material things but also because whether we like it or not, we are all humans and we are living things. Sex is part of us. Of course. You can't take it out. Take it out. So when couples or before couples meet, they should, you know, find time to understand themselves. So you think it's important. Pretense. You think it's, it's very, important, it's very important to have that sexual um, yes. communication, know your partner's preference and all that. Why could you think so? Yes, I think so. It's very important because if you don't tell me what you like, I wouldn't know this is what you like. And it's easier if you tell me this is what you like and since we are couples, we are together mm. and I can compromise. I'd I'd would like to make you comfortable. I'd like to, you know, fulfill what you want because I care about you. Mm. So it's very important. You, you, bringing me to my next question. I just want to pick a point from what you just said. Like if I if I if I love if I care about you I want to do there are some partners that are adamant like this is like this man for instance in the first story this is what he wants my mouth is for this and he's not willing to want to you know try to strike a balance with the wife like I don't really like this thing no but can I just maybe try it for you since that's what makes you happy I so, okay sorry. I kind of think somehow the problem is also coming from the wife because you should have communicated this before because you would have known before marriage okay. obviously for a man to be talking like that it means it's something he does not do and you you had an ex that used to do this obviously it's something you would have wanted after meeting your husband before you married him right so she should have told him and if this seems to be like you said priority if since this seems to be what you prioritize what you really like and might cause issues then look for someone else who will do it. You will definitely find someone else who will do it. Mm. So except maybe there's something else in the marriage which is making her stay. Maybe she, money. She, she actually know. mentioned she didn't go, but she, she had issues with her ex because her ex hits her. He's a woman beater. But yeah. yet, because of what she gets, she keeps, she keeps going. going back. Yes. So mm -hmm. she so should have it. should have communicated with the husband. So and you're saying you're saying when you get into a relationship, 
it's good to have that conversation. Yes, that things that I this need is to know that I want to be I've broken pressured. up with someone before just because of something. No, is it I broke up with him? Okay, he was asking me out and I probably was going to give him a chance and he said something. I can't remember what he said. But it was something that, that he was trying to say that, in his, I can't remember his words, but the message he passed was, he made it seem like cheating is normal now, like it's something that's oh. So when I, once I heard that, I didn't even bother, I didn't even tell him anything. <laughs> I, no, because I can't handle it mm. if I, you know, if I find out. So I just, I didn't even try. I was like, my mind was like, okay, wait, if I start to do this one now, and we get serious. Is this, mm. it's obviously he's ready to he cheat. I never mind you one that, but I, I mentioned yes. that it's normal. <laughs> so that, I picked that and I... Mm. Mm. So she needs so, to know. I want to know how best can you communicate with your partner as regards to what you desire the most. Like, I, some people have their, of course, some everybody have their G spots, yeah. But how do you communicate it to your partner that I prefer it this way, I prefer it that way? Let me hear what you have to say as regards to preferences. The the key thing is being familiar. Okay. Being very free with your partner. Leave pretense, being open minded. You know, a lot of times people pretend, and then when they get into marriage, gradually mm. they start unveiling themselves. Mm -hmm. Some people simply put it as see finish. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when you don't see finish, then you now want to now unveil yourself fully. Mm. And by that time, you're painting a different picture to your spouse and he may not accept it mm. mm -hmm. and then you want to impose it you didn't start off with that you know so it becomes a problem mm. so starting off you know having that conversation is still key as regards to all that we're exactly. talking about okay we have to go on a quick break and when we come back we'll continue on the conversation we'll be right back a spicy with fina we understand all the pain Welcome back, it's this Spicer with Fina, and we are discussing sexual communication. So, I want to ask, what if your partner isn't having it? Like, from that beginning when you guys just started and you want to set certain things straight, and already you've seen this guy or this lady, and you feel there are other things you like about this lady, and yet you put your sexual pre preferences on the table, and the person isn't having it. Would you, because of that, call off the relationship that you think started on a good note and you guys are wonderfully okay together? Would you, because he is not caught out for your sexual preference, would you call off that relationship because of that? It depends on the preference and if it's a priority to me, for me. Okay, for you. If so it, if it is for you, you forget say the guy get money, you forget say the other nice, nice things. It's better to be safe than sorry. Because, <laughs> yes, Ooh. because if I... It's fine, it's not always about sex, but if, like I said, if this is what I prioritize, like this is what I really want, I don't want to go look for it outside. Exactly. There, there are lots of men out there, so he needs, to, that's, I mean, he needs to compromise. People compromise in relationships. Exactly. And if he's not willing to, if he's not even willing to try, if he's, if he's willing to try and it's not working out, and I can compromise, of course I'll stay, there are better things there. Okay. But if it's that kind of person who is not, there, there's another thing I'll bring up, he's not, he, he won't be willing to compromise. So mm. I always think of later. If, later. Yeah, I, ref, mm. I, I, I put things like, what if, okay, now he's not doing this. What if mm. I bring this? He won't. So it's better you just at least show some level of understanding and try to try at least. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you agree with her? Well, um, <laughs> you know, those days we say love is blind, but these days they wear glasses. <laughs> 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 because in, in, in sincerity, mm. let me say from experience, when couples meet, there's usually that friction here and there in the process of trying to establish boundaries. Mm. You don't go beyond this. You know, if you push it beyond this limit, Casalago boss, mm. you know, then after some time, you establish those boundaries. What takes over? is love you know when there's genuinety in love origin originality love endures you 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 know you can go the whole length mm. like when couples fight i was like how do you see your wife do you see your wife like your brother or your sister because the way you treat your brother when you have this agreement you don't push him out you don't throw him out 
Mm. You know, because there's that love, there's love that thing. brotherly love. Mm. Couples also, if you see your bro your wife as you see your parents, you know, you would be prepared to go all the way. Mm. So love matters a in, lot in a relationship. Love is that thing that makes it flexible. But where there's no love, I mean. Mm. Looking at looking at the fact that um, there's a lot of cheating, you know, going on in this our time, I, I I'm forced to say I think there's gross sexual imbalance among partners. That's me thinking anyway. Maybe um, the way I prefer to be pleasured, my partner isn't doing it that way, and I, and maybe I've tried to talk to him and he's not ready to budge, and you see them going out there to look for, you know, to look for that satisfaction. So would you say, um, what would you say are the reasons of gross sexual imbalance as at, in our world today? What would you say is the cause for su such imbalance in our sexual community? Where uh, one of the couples go out and, mm. like you said, you talked about love. Mm. I'm a very big fan of love. In fact, I'm a very foolish person. Aww. But yes, that's why I try to avoid friction, you know. But one thing I've come to understand is, I may love someone very much, but just love cannot keep that relationship. Mm. If you guys don't understand each other, communicate, it won't work. Mm. You, 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 sometimes you see a man going out to look for something. It doesn't mean he doesn't love his wife. Oh, fine, I understand that. Why are you cheating with love? He loves his wife, but he's not getting what he actually wants. Man. He'll still go back home to the one he loves, do what he has to do. But you know, see that extra thing? Mm. He goes out for it. Mm. To avoid that extra thing, before marriage, try to establish it. If he's not doing this thing that it will make you go out, you love him or okay, can you handle it if he goes out? There are questions you ask yourself too, you understand? Are you ready mm. to stay? Mm. You know? Mm. So if you know you cannot, rather than enter and then point you no know, friction, probably divorce and all of that, you need to communicate, understand, compromise. If it's not involved, just love cannot work. Mm. Compromise. Very compromise. Com I think comp you have to. You don't have a choice because when two people are in a relationship, you have to find a way to strike a balance. The fact that I don't like this thing does not mean I won't move a bit to see if I can, you know, try to strike a balance for the sake of my partner. And I think it ha it should it should it should apply to both parties. The men should learn to see how they can. But the, another thing, seeing how they can work things out. If you don't tell me certain things, I may not you know. know. But people find it real hard to say certain things, especially those ones that has this ex extreme um, sexual preference. Yeah. You want them to, you want, they want you to flog them duka duka <laughs> before, you know, those people might not want to say all that. Just so they don't look Maybe reason, somehow. exactly. Yes. But such people does exist. Of course. But I don't. I can't even tell how they got to where they are because me, I don't know how pain take on the sweet. <laughs> because sometimes it's what weird. they've seen growing up, sometimes mm. probably yes, what they've seen growing up or the experience they've had when they were young, and for you know to get used to it, and that's what they actually need to function. So I think it, if some people find it real hard to to communicate such um, things because they feel it's too extreme. But I think I think uh, you should be able to communicate with who you are seeing. Mm. If you are scared of who you are seeing, if you cannot communicate with who you are seeing, then there's a problem. There's a problem. I'm a shy person, actually. There are certain things I know I might, but you just pass the message somehow. Mm. Even if it means probably like, write a long message, you know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I am very shy. So I, I, if I can't say certain things to your face, or it might be me. I, I don't like confrontation. I might be angry. So if I don't say what is on my mind, I'll still be mad. I'll be giving attitude. So mm. maybe I'll just send you along. In the nicest manner, I'm not rude. I'm never, I don't insult you. Know, I'll just type and let you know what's up. And then before you know, we'll see and then talk. Okay. So one way or the other, I just passed the message. Or else of friction. You think so? Oh, well, I agree with her because um, at my place of work, there's a guy told me about, you know, in the, when boys and girls are when the conference room, mm. we say a lot of things. You know, he spoke about his neighbor. He said the neighbor is a very shy person. He doesn't know how to express himself. And so it goes even towards the wife, that feeling. Mm. He doesn't know how to initiate, you know. So 
what he does is when he's in the mood from the office he buys the wife packages you know mm. so mm. when the wife sees all that at least you know that then another person said oh what he does is uh if he knows is next week that he want to you know he will start this week to start taking the wife out giving the wife a treat you know <laughs> that's his own way of communicating you know i think what's happening in the world today is we are we are filled with packages too much packages mm. that's our issue it just be because last week i read on social media and someone's um uh what did i say someone tweeted Okay. They are saying that they should advise her that she has this problem, that she she pretends to be innocent <laughs> with her person, the mm. person she loves, loves, and doesn't want to give the guy a false image because she sees that she has a future with yeah. the guy. Mm. And so the issue of sex, she plays it very, very low. She pretends, mm. but prefer to loosen herself with someone else that she does That's she knows that there's no future mm. so anyhow we want to take her main take her like that you see but we you see where the problem the lies person, the question is <laughs> how long does she pretend she's that's pretending. the thing how because at the end of the day she will not she will not be satisfied yes you get married to this man that does this slow and she's steady and and yet you want him rough and hard and because you want to be a good wife you don't want she's to tell him your, you don't how want to tell him your pretend? preference you'll be surprised that the guy probably likes it but he can't see it that's the thing just that's the problem with lack of sexual communication if you talk you guys can even just you can even listen the things that you like mm -hmm. and then you might see that a lot of things time exactly but, and, and but and if you don't talk we how have do you a, know? An, another another issue another problem in christianity being a true christian mm. you're not supposed to have yeah before marriage no but but, marriage. but even if you so don't have you it now, have the conversation is this a conversation the having the conversation is it wrong to, to have adult it. conversation when you Some are people all still pretend Actually, no, holy, holy, those, yes. holy, 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 yes. But meanwhile, but you see those holy, <laughs> holy, 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 no, not the way it's, I, I'm not talking about probably not just if easy access, you know, just to cover the body, all the, you know, all of so that. So they could look holier than thou. Things, ah, no, there's one that I haven't I know had it just recently. I was shocked. <laughs> no, really, and they easily judge those who probably were fit. Mm. You see those who were probably mm. they, you be surprised some of them are not that experienced. Ah, ah, it's ah, just, ah, you know, ah, how they and I think how it they still boils down to that package. Everybody just want to package what is not good. You know, Come package, out and package. be yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, like he said, um, churches and religion, of course, they will say, don't do this, don't do that. But at the same but time, the you same should time. be free. Mm, Speak openly, yes. you know. Mm. I don't like to pretend, like, about my personality in any way. Like, I, the way I am is the way you should see me. You should like me the way I am. Do you mm. understand? Mm. So I don't pretend in any aspect of my life. I like... Being plain, yeah, because but how life long? is easy. You. But how some men too, easy. they don't. Let's let's be fair. Some men like that packaging. Yeah, you I know. For the that packaging. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they want to see that holier than thou attitude, and they say, "Oh, this is a correct wife material." Yes, you have a point. And so they give it to them what they you want. Know, <laughs> And they'll feel, they'll feel the ones that are too exposed. They'll say you are no, too exposed. Ladies, yeah, ladies you know, it's not bad. But bad for only one person. You're right. Dad. So mm. if she's doing that with you, it's because it's with you. Mm. You are the person she's mm. seeing. It doesn't mean she's all over the place. They don't see it like that. that. They don't see it like that. They they don't. Don't. I, I, had a, I had a story of a, a married couple, like a man and his wife. Um, they usually do normal the missionary and all. Otherwise, they've been married. And then the woman just thought of it that, why don't I just spice it up? Can you say pastor? Okay, just normal couple. Just normal okay, couple. Okay. But the guy is all those people that goes to, you know, religious person. So the woman said she wants to start, spice it up a bit. And then she said, okay, let's do, let's change the style and do something else. And the guy just <laughs> flared up. Who taught you this one? 
All the while we marry, this is the one we do it. For you to even in that, that means, means so much. There's the internet, there's social media, there's and they say it everything. wasn't a joke. Oh. Family had to come and settle for it. I can't relate to people like that. So, but it's 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 it happens. It's, it happens. And, in the and this same man moves no, from one woman to another, maybe probably okay. to get there. What do you think like that? A man that media. wants his wife to wear a gown all through when they are going out, you know. Yeah, but we said dress you. like you know like uh, deeper life mm. but at, at the same time even while moving with the wife eyeing other girls wearing trousers dress, and you know so, he's so in fact and you the know, is, is the issue of packaging he, that we're talking about is actually choking <laughs> us already on you, can be sexy without, you can be sexy without being slaughtered exactly you're so right. why you look at and it's, I, I find it very insulting if i'm with you and you're looking at another woman you know? there's some men that <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> the hair will be like this. The eyes will have gone like this. No, you <laughs> See what's in this guy. You know, and yet, there's no opportunity to look. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's using style. Are you sure? There's a man that will be with you. A lady's person is like this. They'll follow. Follow. Ah, like, yes. why would you even do that? <laughs> if you do it code idea, just, okay, no problem. I don't even want to know. No, what I said, you look at what kind of dressing is this? And he's looking. And he's looking. No, we have to. You have to have to say, look at, look at, look at. Which you also look at. You are. Why you have to be a silly? You don't have to be a silly. We have to go on a quick break, and when we come back, <laughs> we'll continue with the conversation. In fact, I need to go on this quick break. My eyes are hurting. We'll be right back, please. <laughs> a spicy with Fina, we understand all the pain. Welcome back. It's this spicy with Fina, and we've been having a very heated <laughs> um, discussion as regards to sexual communication. <laughs> Honestly, that thing you said last really <laughs> cracked me up because you say he, he will say, um, "Sweetheart, can't you see what, what she's wearing?" <laughs> Whereas he's using this, you know, he's using conny conny eyes to still look at the ah, girl. You men can be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If I find out that's what you're doing, I'll use time to tell you to stop. It's not be telling me because it's I'll, I'll not look at know her. Now. You you know, know. If somehow I suspect it, I'll use time to also tell you. I don't be showing me like. Okay, let's let's look at the stories now. Let's react to the stories and may probably give them our uh, advice. The first person says she kept going back to her ex-boyfriend because the husband has refused to accept that she prefer sex this other way or she prefers to have a head more than the sex itself. And then the other person says the wife is a log of wood. She doesn't shake her body. And then the other woman said her husband is a one-minute man. More like before she would want to explore all the adventures. Oga don't, don't, don't reach, don't reach <laughs> bus stop. So what, let me start with you, um, YK. What would you advise these three people? Or what are your last words to them? Number two, because that one is very easy. It's communication. Mm. If you don't, I don't know if he has sp spoken with her or tried to, but if the way he's talking, maybe he hasn't. You should just talk. If you don't tell her what you like, except maybe the woman is an extremist when it comes to religion, probably, you know, my body is for my husband, let him just, no, it doesn't mm -hmm. work like that. It's, mm -hmm. you know, even God approves sex in marriage. Of you course. guys should explore it. Do you understand? So I think they should communicate. You should let her know what he likes and all that before he goes, start going outside if he hasn't gone outside. <laughs> the communication. Okay. Then the first one that keeps going to her ex. Mm. Easier said than done. But I'll blame her because it looks like she already knows. She would have known, maybe, or maybe she didn't tell her husband that. She, you said it that, that it's important to her. Mm. Somehow, even though you guys don't, haven't been doing it before, Mary, somehow let him know. Mm. Then you start to know his reaction to it. Personally, if I let you know in a you know, stylish manner, and I see that mm, you're, it's a no-go area. And like she said, it's important to her. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm a saint or anything, but cheating is not what I want to do in my marriage. Exactly. And if I see that this is what will make me go outside, and there's an ex who does it very well, why not Kuku marry the ex now and continue with the beating? <laughs> if, if that is more important, you know, so mm. that's mm. it then. But don't you think the, the man should have at least shown her some? He should, you know, but there are some men that, I've heard stories, there are some men that know, they will not try it. I don't want to call any tribe, but you know, they would, ne they would never try it. They would tell you, that is it, and that is it. You mm. are stuck, you are married, so you are there. Mm. Then for the other one, one minute, man. These days, I hear there are sexual enhancements. Okay, enhancement. So maybe they should go for the one that is um, 
registered medically with the not gonna use one random thing that would you know <laughs> yes mm. go to the hospital find a way and you know I'm not married so I I, I can't just you know give them that advice but I, that's logically that's what they should do what they should do so Mr. John for me the first one is um, about the lady, lady the lady that keeps back to going. Her ex. Well, if you want food to spoil, it's easy to spoil your food. Abby, you don't put it in the fridge, you leave it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you understand? So, you can start gradually to teach him if there's love. Okay. And if he's open minded, you can gradually start. You don't expect it at once because you didn't open up. Initially. You know? So, he's bendable. He should be bendable. Mm. Everyone is. You know? You, you, you introduce it to him gradually, you know, and then, you know, there are some people that pretend on some subjects, it's, ah, you know, make that kind of it. You, know, you should be open-minded. You know, maybe the f foundation was faulty, but there's hope, hope. if there's love. Mm. Mm. What if there's no love and the man just married? There are some people who just marry because they just get married. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what if that's that, the case? That would be the... What if that's the case? That okay, I'm married the case. to you. you but know? even well, if there's no love, but there's a way you can, you can um, build love. Mm. You can water it. You can groom it to grow. But someone yeah. who wants to change it. You know, find his weakness. You know, they're, they're, everybody has a weakness. Well, I don't, I think... You can even do blackmail, self. If you want, <laughs> look look for his mumu button somewhere. That's the thing. That's the one thing I wanted to say. You know? And again, the woman. I think everybody have the ability to suppress their um, need and feeling to a certain extent. Yeah. But let me just get your final words for the other two stories. That's the one whose wife never shakes her body. No morning. They are touching her. No soundtrack. She's just there. No soundtrack. <laughs> And then the one minute man, let's let's have you your final words on those ones. It's all about training. Training. Yes. Mm. Gradual thing. Even the one that is a one minute man, maybe the person should be doing exercise. There are drugs that you can't Other take. Things that can but it, it, it also depends on the state of mind of the person. And the wife too should communicate that or okay, oh. I think we yeah. need to do something concerning this. Exactly. Thing. And you'd be surprised the man, the one minute man might be able to make up for it with other things. Exactly. <laughs> but maybe that's so not what you want. There's a, there's like a way, people should just you know, what, should just prioritize whatever it is they want to Let me put it like a football face. football match. You know? <laughs> Even like boxing, you know, there's a time Tyson had issues. People have paid to watch a good fight. Mm. Some at the entrance of the hall, paying their ticket. The match has started. They are trying to get in. And before I know it, they heard the match is over. What kind of match is that? <laughs> 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 you so they now had to like tell him, look, you have to delay this thing a bit now. Let people, you know, mm. not want to to knock the person out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Muhammad Ali, he will be dancing. Shaking, going around the court, you know, delay tactics, you know, entertain people mm. before giving you the final mm. knockout, <laughs> you know. So if that man is a one minute man, look for other areas exactly. that you can Make delay, prolong, you know, the climax. Mm. Mm. So there's a way around it. It's just being open minded, open minded, being free. And seek um, help if you have mm -hmm. to. Yes. Because this, like, I wonder how that woman would even stay like a log of food. Anyway, let me leave that for you. <laughs> <laughs> leave that for the log of wood. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for coming. I really appreciate both of you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you for sharing your view on this topic. As, as, as we all know, we have a norm here. We have a gift for our guests. So, Spicy, we finna have something for you. So, um... I don't know, ladies first, but let me just do the <laughs> my direct um, <laughs> right, you. left, rather. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, let me do this. Thank you, sir, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this will bring us to the end of today's episode of Spice with Fina. As you know, sexual communication between partners are very, very important. You might think they are not, but trust me, by the time you learn to talk to your partner, the, 
learn to relate to that partner of yours as regards to the best way you want to be pleasured. They may not accept it at that time, like some of them might be a bit, you know, but consistency will help you. Like he said, everybody get mumu button and there are times they might be very happy. All those happy moments, use it to, you know, find your way into their hearts and all, you know. Until we come your way again next time, Spicer with Fina will always bring you interesting stories and you can always send us your story. If you have true life stories you'd like to share on the show, kindly send it to spicerwithfina at gmail.com and also kindly follow us on our social media handles at Spicy with Fina. Should you need help as regards to anything you need a professional help on, you can call the numbers on our screen and Spicer with Fina will be there to link you up to professionals to meet your needs. Life is incomplete without, you know, seeking for help, getting help and life keep going. Life keep going. No man is an island. Until I come your way again next time, I have to go. It's bye for now. Out, all day, all night, you've cried and cried. You'll be okay, you'll be fine. A spicy with Fina, we understand all the pain.